leaks have leaks have come out from Tesla employees saying the Tesla Roadster is imminent. We've been hearing this news for years now. Is this really true? Has Tesla finally decided to produce the Tesla Roadster? Maybe. Apparently, two senior Tesla technicians say they are. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. I personally love the Tesla Roadster. I think whoever designed it, well, we all know who designed it, Franz, designed the vehicle, did a phenomenal job designing the Roadster because what it was revealed six years ago. It still looks new today. How, how does that happen? I don't know how that happens. Now, one of our Facebook contributors has been posting images of the Roadster or different colors in different locations. And, you know, I don't think about the Roadster at all. It's just not a Tesla don't make it. It's been on the back burner. But they have, I have to say, it looks amazing. If Tesla does price these at $250,000, there's going to be a big market for them because there's just nothing else. What else is there? What else? What other supercar can you buy for that kind of price that looks like that, that has that kind of performance, that kind of power? that kind of Tesla appeal. Now, apparently there's been surveys done recently um, on you know all the super, superstars and movie stars and music stars, and they apparently want to be seen in a Tesla. I find that interesting that that's the thing to do now. I'm not really, I'm not really into that stuff. I'm not at some kind of young, hip person that pays attention, reads any of that stuff. I, I don't know what's going on, to be honest, but that is interesting to see. I can imagine if that's the case, a lot of them would want one of these, a Roadster and a Cybertruck sitting next to the next to each other in their driveways. Now, apparently, someone has spoken to Tesla senior technicians who said they're beginning their training for the new Tesla Roadster. What does that mean? I don't know. But Talk News says that apparently this has happened. A new post on Twitter has been getting a lot of attention. It's about the Tesla Roadster. This is the next generation of Tesla's original supercar well it wasn't really a supercar when tesla originally revealed the roast it was fast but it you know it was just a cool electric convertible and so people ordered them for eighty thousand dollars but then tesla they realized they were going to lose too much money so they had to increase the prices but if you'd bought a tesla roast an original version you would have made a hell of a lot of money if you held on to that car they're now selling for more than a million dollars which is just incredible they've become a collectible item so is this true? Is Tesla really training senior technicians on the new Tesla Roadster? Uh, would that mean Tesla have already finished production? Uh, do they have an 800 volt electrical system? Is there 48 volt like the Cybertruck has for its battery? You know, I, I don't know. A bit, what kind of batteries is it using? Is it 4680s? Is it using 2170s, the new ones from Panasonic with, you know, higher energy density with their new nano silicon? I, I've got no idea, but... Uh, I'm excited. I mean, come on. I actually feel a little bit frustrated. I don't know why, but I'm frustrated because I think Tesla should make this car. It can't be that hard. It can't be like, you know, it can't be a situation where Tesla can't go and just, you know, hire some more staff, move some staff towards the roadster, get it, get it, get, get it manufactured. If you need to, if you really have to increase the price, I have wondered something here. It's going to sound, make me sound anti-Tesla. So... I'm not anti-Tesla, but I've got to say, I have wondered. Tesla did give away a lot of Roadsters as part of their deal, uh, their kind of referral system. If you did so many referrals and you did so much of this and that, you get so many points, you get a Roadster. And so Tesla do owe. They owe a lot of Roadsters to Tesla customers. Have Tesla been putting it off because they know they've got to deliver so many Roadsters, so they know they want to maybe try to make uh, cheaper versions or maybe a lithium-ion phosphate-powered version or something like that so that they don't have... To, too much money on the books. It's not, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars that Tesla have to give away. I don't know. I'm curious to know what anyone else thinks about that. Now, when was the Roadster, the first Roadster, the concept, the prototype originally revealed? Well, back in December of 2017, just over six years ago. If Tesla does reveal the Roadster, if they do begin manufacturing it this year, I think it could happen. But the range is not going to be 600 miles it's not gonna be a thousand kilometers i don't think it will be i think tesla no customers don't even want that why would you want that it's going to make the car too heavy why not just make the smaller battery pack put in something like a an 80 kilowatt hour pack maybe a 90 or 100 kilowatt hour pack you know get as much range as you need you're probably going to get 400 miles of range from that and in my opinion that's all you need put in the Cybertruck's 800 volt electrical system 350 kilowatt fast charging 
uh, that would be enough. Put in the Tesla Plaid drivetrain, that would be enough. I think Tesla pretty much have everything they need. The batteries, the drivetrain, uh, they've got the design. They know people like the design. I hope this story is true. I've got no idea if it is. I personally predict that Tesla is most likely to put a smaller pack in to the Roadster, but they'll have two options. I reckon they'll have a longer range version, something like an 80 kilowatt hour, maybe 85 kilowatt hour pack with approximately 420 miles of range. Then they'll put a smaller pack in, maybe a 70 kilowatt hour pack, which would have say just over 300 miles of range. And that might be the more affordable, the cheaper version that Tesla will you know, give away to all the people who have won one from Tesla. Now on the 17th of May, Sawyer Merritt tweeted this, at Elon Musk says the next gen roads to engineering and design will be completed this year and hopefully start production next year. So Tesla did say that production, as in um, design, engineering, all the specs, everything that needs to happen, would be finished in 2023 and production would happen in 2024, but we haven't heard much since then. What are your thoughts? Do you think we'll see a roads to this year? Um, I don't think we will, but I hope we do. Thanks for watching.